So let's see another poem that is The School Boy. So The School Boy is a poem about a boy who is very happy but is not feel, when he is going to school he is quite unhappy. So let's see how this happiness change into unhappiness. The School Boy is a poem is not a happy child. What makes him unhappy? Why does he compare himself to a bird that lives in a cage or a plant that withers when it should blossom? Let's start with the poem and as I explain stanza by stanza I will be explaining you. I love to rise in a summer morn when the birds sing on every tree. The distant huntsman wind his horn and the skylark sings with me. Oh, what sweet company! But to go to small school in a summer morn, oh, it drives all joy away. Under a cruel eye outworn, the little one spent the day in sighing and dismay. Ah, then at times I drooping sit and spend many an anxious hour, nor in my book can I take delight, nor sit in learning's bower. Worn though through the dreary shower, how can the bird that is born to joy sit in a cage and sing? How can a child when fears annoy but drop his tender way? And forget this youthful spring. O oh, father and mother, if bud are nipped and blossom blown away, and if the tender plants are stripped of joy in the springing day, but sorrow and care dismay, how shall the summer arise in joy or the summer fruits appear? By William Blake. So in the first stanza, the boy says that he loves the summer season, he loves to be at home, he loves enjoying, he loves the rise, sunrise in summer morning, when the birds are singing on everywhere on the tree, when the distant huntsman winds the uh, wind, the wind is blowing like a horn, the skylark, the bird skylark sings away and that's a sweet company, that's the sweet morning that he enjoys. But to go to school is a, in the morning, summer morning, it drives all the joy away. So summer is time to play, time to enjoy and when he is sent, home, sent to school, he is unhappy. He is not enjoying. Under a cruel eye outworn, the little one spent the day in sighing and dismay. So when he is going to school, when the teachers is giving lectures, teaching, he is not having enough fun. He is not able to enjoy his childhood. Rather, he would be out and enjoying the summer mornings. Instead, he will be under the eye, uh, under a cruel eye outworn. You can see the meaning here. Out of date, out of date, outworn. And his little one spent the day in sighing and dismay, in a very worried and in a very uh, breath, uh, breath out that means he is not enjoying, he is just going for the sake of going, he is unhappy. And then at times I drooping sit and spent many an anxious hour, nor in my book can I take delight, nor sit in learning bower, worn through with the dearly sharp. So in the third stanza it says that there are times I drooping sit, means very tired, he's very tired and he is sitting down, drop down in exhaustion. So he is exerted and then going to school and when he is, uh, sometimes he just sits in exertion. And he spent many anxious hour, hours of worry, many restless hours he spent. And then he is not even able to concentrate in his studies. That is, nor my book can take delight, nor sit in the learning bore, nor he takes delight in 
the books you know he is able to learn now he is able to enjoy the time the summer time and uh, uh, summer time learning goes goes climbing plants the other means that means he is not able to enjoy the summer season nor he is able to do his studies and go through with the theory short how can the bird that is born to joy sit in a cage and sing so the bird is actually the birds are looks good when they fly when they sing when they move about instead of them put in a cage so here he says that how can a bird feel the joy if the bird is being kept in the cage so the same situation with me if i am not given freedom if i am not enjoying what i am doing then there is no point in the joy how can a child when fears annoy but droops his tender wings and forget his youthful spring so it's a time he is not enjoying his school he wants to be free he wants to enjoy he wants to enjoy the summer so he is given a uh, is a comparison between the bird that is kept in the cage and if the bird is kept in the cage the bird cannot enjoy the time so there is the same way if if i am being caught in the shackles of studies if i am being caught in uh, if i am not enjoying anything if i am not able to understand then what's the point so it's uh, rather i enjoy the summers oh father and mother if birds are nipped and blossom uh, and blossom blown away so he says that he's telling his father and mother that if the bird if the the flower the bird of the flower is nipped and the blossom is if it is is nipped it uh, means it's destroyed it's taken away so how can the flower blossom if the tender plants are stripped if the, the little small plants the young plants if they are stripped off their beauty if they are stripped away then how can they spring in the spring time so same way are uh, uh, of their joys in the spring day by sorrow and care and discares dismay so if, if it is if the the blossom of the plants are taken if the uh, young uh, flowers are stripped off of their beauty how can they enjoy they will be in sorrow and they will be sad they will be worried so how shall the summer arise in joy or the summer fruit appear so how can you expect if the joy if of the studies if is taken away if i if the person is not interested if he is not able to understand so the situation is to be understood and if it is not then what will happen then all the some the, the how shall the summer arise in joy and or the summer fruits appear if if it is not if the plant is not watered if the plant is not taken care of how the summer will come how they will have a joy of seeing the plants of the the flowers and how there will be no fruits on the tree if they are not taken care of so similarly if the child is not taken care of of what he enjoys and what is important and how it is to be done so if he is not enjoying studies how to get into the enjoyment in studies and how to uh, study and how to get whatever the child requires in his life in the young age how to make him like the unlike to be liked this has to be done and taken care of i hope you have understood the poem